Welcome everybody here on YouTube to the Curling Masters of Champéry and a special hello from Switzerland, my home country, my home region. I'm uh, from Switzerland, that's why um, yeah, my English will be not native, but I try my best and of course we try the best on today's game. On my side, I'm uh, really glad to have you here, the 2002 gold medal winner at the Women's Olympic Games, Rona Howie. Hi, nice to have you here. Good afternoon. So we are here now at the Curling Masters Champagne with these two teams. We got Sweden against Germany, Team Edin against Team Muscovitz. What can we expect from this one? Yeah, it's still early in the round robin games, but uh, certainly a, a good line up here. Uh, this is Team Bowman without uh, Alexander without Bowman, Bowman uh, playing. So Mark Muscovic has taken over the helmet skip. We see also how the teams in this group of uh, Group A played until now. The previous game had an extra end. Yep, so that's why we've had a delay with this one. But uh, the team from Czech Republic, Team Seek, earned two wins. Team Eden's only played one game so far. And uh, Team Muscovich has just played the one and looking for their first win. Curling Masters Champery 2018, so this year's competition. We um, already had a European Championship won once upon a time here in Champery, so it's a uh, team add in. We have first all four Vikings. The Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> and the team Baumann, actually Muscovitz, a German team. What are the chances for the Germans against the Swedish team? Because, uh, let's be fair, Sweden is popular for floorball, for ice hockey, and definitely for curling. Yeah, certainly this uh, Swedish team, Team Medin, very experienced team, won a lot of titles. So uh, for this younger German skip, it's certainly uh, a big step up for him from skipping at junior level to playing here. So it'll be a great experience and a big learning curve. And starting the game. First stone, Germany. Whoa, whoa, bumper. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Six, six. Whoa. Whoa, 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 six. Okay. So actually the fourth stone and uh, yeah, this is a good <laughs> this is a good uh, pass for you to uh, get from the fourth stone to the fifth stone because there's something new in this year. Yeah, the new five rock rule, so they can't remove stones until the fifth rock of the end, which makes it a lot more exciting when a team's up now that uh, they can have a lot more stones in play. So second player for Sweden, Rasmus Rana. I just wanted to hit and roll on top of that other yellow, but hits and rolls out. Yeah. You can see uh, yeah. Germany immediately moving out to remove the Swedish corner guard. Sweden have got last own advantage at this end. At the end of each game they play, they do a draw shot and the closest to the pin will get hammer in the yep. next game, so that's why Sweden have the hammer here. So Germany don't want to lose a big end straight away. Oh, and there's an error there. They wanted to remove that guard from play, but they've left one. So you'll see Sweden now Might coming right round that guard. The Swedish team are really good at communicating. They're constantly, you know, speaking to the skip and communicating weights to make sure they get the best out of every stone. Yeah, and we also need to say that the team of Edin already won two times here in Champery, so they they know what they have to do. 
to the Germans know yeah. how to Normal. react now. Okay. Yeah, you can see the, the red zone just past the yellow guard, but it's virtually coming out the other side of it. Yep. Yep. So Ryan Sherrard, he's uh, third player in this new lineup for Germany. Ryan was part of uh, the German team who played in Las Vegas at the World Championships this year. But this is where there's a big difference, you know, with the, the two teams that, you know, Nicholas Edin's won multiple gold medals at Europeans, Worlds, medaled at Olympic Games. So for this younger German team, it's a massive learning yeah. curve yep, for them yep, to yep, play yep, a team yep. of this calibre mm. and learn of from of it. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice tap back there. Sweden lie too. And to get the Swiss connection between Sebastian and Ryan, uh, actually they meet first uh, time in Basel in 2016 at the World Championships, so they know each other for about two years. And directly it was clear that Ryan could fit very good to yeah. the other teammates. Just trying to lift the double here in the red, but unfortunately just jams it. Leave Sweden lying short. So Oscar Eriksson will just uh, draw to the other side here, leave some distance between his two red stones. I'm just trying to take it back to mm. leave a harder double take out. It's pretty flat, but I mean, if you can roll over to here, I think that does the job, right? Yeah. But of course, still possible. Yep, even if he can roll over towards it, might leave a double, an easier double for his next one. Yep. Yep. So Mark Muscovich. Trying to get the hit and roll over, just not enough. But it does lie short, so Sweden have to play on it. Yeah, it looks everything so calm, so so easy. And look and watch the Warriors, as you said. So not wanting any sweeping at the moment. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, well played. Lie two. We were saying the difference about the experience in the two teams with the current world curling tour rankings. 
Nicholas Edeen's ranked third and the German team's ranked 58th. So that's the difference there. You <laughs> know, <laughs> 55 <laughs> places, yes. actually. So there you can see there's other games going on just now. Sections are all playing throughout the four days. Because actually we have uh, four groups in total. Oh, he's nice played one. it perfectly. Nice one. Great shot. That's a, a good experience, you can say. That was a fantastic shot. He wow. now lies too, so it's forcing Sweden <laughs> to draw for one, yeah. whereas you know, they were looking for a two with the hammer. You can see here they swept it early to hold it and then just cut it thin enough to roll over. Perfect double, lie to. That's a perfect angle. Yeah, and there's Miley behind, Gerard Walter. They'll be happy with that. Of course. It's way much nicer. So, and um, that was it from and number one, so it's one zero one stone for Sweden. The hammer for the Germans. Swedish Christopher Sundgren starts with the first stone in the second end. And okay, hang a little bit on not good. Okay, and I've a little bit on the so a good centre guard there for Sweden. Now Germany have the option of putting up a corner guard. They have last stone here or they draw round. You'll see a lot of teams with last stone, they don't want to have a guddle round the centre, mm -hmm. they would rather keep good. play out to the wings. So it's just their own preference yep, and how yep. their team are playing. Good. And how swingy the ice will be to draw behind guards as well makes a big decision on your tactics. This will go over the T-line until the eight. So Sweden will just ignore that now and try and come round top four. Do as close as possible. Not a freeze, but yeah, it was just a wee bit heavy. The sweepers communicated that a wee bit more running than they wanted, so they just made sure it was back on top of the yellow. Second 
Stone of Sebastian Schweitzer, who started 1994 with playing curling. Uh, 1999 played his first junior world championship. Close, close, close. Oh, I swept that one well. Mm -hmm. It's behind cover. This one. It doesn't lie short. The red at the back does lie, but that yellow is a danger now to Sweden. So Nicholas Sedin has just asked Rasmus Rana to uh, run the guard back onto their yellow yeah. to push it, but just removes the guard, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Opens it up. In pier. Not, to the, not to the pier, the whole stone train, not the soul train, the in stone pier. train, <laughs> like one was going away. Three remains in the house. A lot of space, the Germans yep. say. Linie. Peter Gadecki. Can they pass the top one? Yep. Again, again. Really good one of the Germans until now. Yeah, good shot. Germany lie one. Sends a little risky here, then also. Kanske är den ändå bra med bakstenen också. Våran där. Skulle man missa och vicka ut på kanten så är det ganska lätt dubbel på nästa också. Jag tror det. Kan du spela den ganska hårt på den sidan så kanske man kan göra trippen. Men det är lite luft mellan alla dem. A little bit more of discussion now between the Swedish teammates. It's not so clear and obvious now what to do. A little extra, but for traffic, it's important to know. Also, yeah. So Sweden are basically just looking because there's three German counters in the head. They want to try and uh, eliminate some of them. They don't have last stone here, so they only want to lose a one. Nice point of view for once. And that's what they were saying the likelihood is they were always going to jam. But at least it opens things up and they've now got a counter in the front. It's a nice point of view we have here. And yeah. Bumper. That's pretty simple for the Germans. Put a good guard. The Germans, they're looking at trying to remove this red and just roll over. They've got last stone, so they're trying to score more than one. Yep. Whereas Sweden are trying to force Germany to take one. <laughs> so <laughs> they've both got different agendas here. It's tracking quite straight there, so you can see they've not played a big weight. So just a tap back weight. And they've just rolled out. So now I think you'll see uh, both these yellow stones. Double take out. Go. Mm -hmm. A lot of speed for sure. Spins back up. Is it going to hang on? Oh. No. So an empty house. <laughs> so there was uh, four stones a minute ago, and uh, yeah, exactly the opposite of what <laughs> I think. That's the difference between this, but yeah, of course. When you keep the last stone. So there's uh, 
As you mentioned earlier, there's four groups this week, so they'll play everybody in their group. So there's five teams per group, so four round robin games, and then a quarter final, semi final, and final. And all this until Sunday here in the beautiful Le Champery. It is beautiful for the teams mm. between games. Lovely weather, lovely scenery. As you can see there behind Nicholas Edine, the beautiful yeah. mountains. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, no, we in Switzerland we are all every year we are we are preparing everything for the <laughs> for the pros who are coming for the tournament. Yeah, of course, it's a uh, an autumn for once uh, with a very very uh, warm temperature. Really, we need to say. Normally, it's uh, much colder. But it is beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so just a hit and run out there. So an empty house again. Any good? Want to see So Ryan Sherard, third player. Oh. He also played in Las Vegas at the Worlds, Ryan and Sebastian. Okay. And it was in Las Vegas that uh, Nicholas Edin, the Swedish team, won the World Championships. So they've, they know each other fairly well, these two teams. Just a different skip. <laughs> a different skip. And uh, so not Baumann, but Muscovich. And uh, something maybe the the good viewership uh, already recognized. There was uh, a certain name putting in into this position, <laughs> actually, <laughs> in the jacket. Maybe we uh, will see this in a few moments again. Then we will, uh, yeah, lift up this secret. Maybe his name's too long to fit <laughs> on his jacket, so nice one. Uh, <laughs> nice one. choose a smaller nickname. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Formerly known as. <laughs> so Nicholas just drawing one into the center. No. Oh, it is one stone. It's German one, the yellow one. So Nicholas Adino just want to yeah. hit and sit. Yeah. Try and force Germany to take their one. Germany will try and hit and run here and blank the end.
very bright orange shoes. <laughs> we won't lose them in the dark. Yeah. Silence. Oh. Yes. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be a stolen one. So, uh, yeah. Get lucky. It remains with the remains with the hammer. With the right of the last stone. Uh, so we go into the third end. Sweden still one, Germany zero. So the first stone, third end, Christopher Sundgren close to the house and perfect for the sponsors. <laughs> yeah, the ice makers do a great job. The ice maker actually here this week is uh, coming from uh, Scotland. Yeah. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. travel together now? No. No. <laughs> no. He was in earlier making ice. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So John Heron is here this week making ice for this event. He normally works at the Centre of Excellence in Stirling. So he's had a few challenges, they were saying, just with the, you were saying, increased temperature outside at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's a wee bit more challenging for him. Ah, that's a lovely draw round. Close to the bottom. <laughs> or dolly, or how you how you say the really middle of the house? The button or the pin? Button, button, the pen. pin is the absolute ah. center of the button. So, what fans of the darts know as bullseye? <laughs> Isn't curling? And that's where in curling you want to control the top of that. You don't want to the stones back T line behind mm -hmm. the button because then they can be frozen. So. You're always wanting to control the top, so there's another beautiful stone from the lead. So b both leads have set up the end very nicely. Sebastian yep, yep. Schweitzer. Yeah, just trying to come yep. round. Uh, yep. But that one's <laughs> over curling a lot, and they're just oh. thinking, well, could we maybe leave a corner guard mm. that we could use? Bisschen gedriftet, dann reinkohlt. A little bit drifted, but uh, yeah, we get him back. Point slower. Yeah, but it was an okay result because uh, Sweden would use a red to raise. Oh. Fart själv till topp fyra, tappa in en topp tolv, typ. Optimal linje så kan vi försöka på frysen, men... I must ask, do you understand Swedish? No, not, not at, at all. all. Because I but you get an idea of what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> when you're coming from the sports, I just was asking myself now, because, of course, you, when you play curling, you play a, a, a lot against the Swedish teams, so it will be not so bad to learn this language. <laughs> I know, I know, to see what they're actually saying, but uh, no, you get the idea. So, 
They're looking here at raising their own red. Just that tap back weight. Ah, oh. oh, beautiful. Although the yellow still lies short, it's now in the slightly more open for Sweden to play on. So that was a great result. So now Germany know those two reds are danger. So they're trying to raise their own yellow onto the reds. So now it's more and more this pushing and controlling in front of the T-line. They try to oh. work with the stones. Just over curled. So that's changed things about a bit in the head. It's now not as easy actually for yeah, Sweden to get to the shot. Could we get through that hole and tap it back? I think that's what he was asking there in um, good Swedish. Yeah, <laughs> when, when you will be on the ice, that's what you were supposed to do, right? It looks, to be honest, it looks sometimes so easy, so big, this game. But it can be pff, feeling like, it's like I, I will c compare this like you play the first time snooker. <laughs> yeah, it's all about angles and yeah. weight and... Because what they're saying here is it, to come through to that yellow and just tap it back at a gentle weight, even if it hangs and they split off their own red, they'll still get a result from doing that. So that's why the skip and the player, they have that discussion about what he can see from the hack. Mm. Then that'll decide what weight they'll play. So it's just a very down tap back weight they're playing. Trying to hold the line here with the sweeping, get it past the top one. Yeah, no, no, no. Just catches. Wow. Oh. <laughs> get that lucky. Was plan B. <laughs> okay. Okay, always good to have a plan B. If you look cool after the stone, after the shot, then everybody will take it. <laughs> It is, and that's what we're saying about making the best of every shot. It's making sure you have that second option. But he was thinking if it hung wider, he would split his own red. But it actually curled a long way. But that's yep. okay, because he did play that manageable weight, he still gets a result. And that's getting louder on the ice, of whoa, course, whoa. because Germany must react. Oh, whoa. hey diddle diddle, through the middle. Oh, whoa, whoa. This, this was also one for the experience, right? They had a good one at the first end, and this one, oh, the mo yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I was never a professional, but um, to take out the yellow one and, and, and have four stones shot, and the Germans only one stone left, something like this, I guess. Yeah, with Germany having last stone here, you know, they're trying to build up, a, trying to generate a two, but that was a... A bad miss for them there. A so big present. Sweden can really take advantage of that error now and, and go full risk, maybe. And lie four. Yeah. 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 The roll with Pia. Want to roll? Okay. Yeah. So focusing Peel. on the first one of these three Peel. stones. Peel. Rolling behind the Peel. red one. More or less a date fit. Yeah, so saying Peel Wade, he wants to hit and roll. The important thing here is the roll for the shooter. Mm -hmm. He wants it to get behind cover, behind that centre red. So it, uh, it's all about the FA. So Ryan Sherrard looking for the hit and roll over. Uh, doesn't get the roll, but lies shot, removes two from play. 
बीस कलर मा दो Aye, that's a very Scottish aye. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, uh, anyway, I wanted to, to say thank you uh, to you all uh, after about two minutes that you are, uh, yeah, not not speaking the real Scottish English. <laughs> real Scottish English. Or it's a little bit different. Not I. I was I was expecting to maybe have uh, more problems to understand you, but. <laughs> No, everything's fine. Oh, I'm sure a few Scottish words will come out throughout the weekend <laughs> 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 that you'll say, a what? Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> so Sweden oh, oh. just looking to remove this German counter in lie three. <coughs> and they've done that perfectly. Just watch, because if you don't get the center roll, you can roll behind the corner. No, not mal. Normal? Yeah. Hey. So, again, they try the same thing. What a bumper! No, hey, normal. Okay. Just a quick uh, question if they should try a bumper but not taking this option. They want to make it normal. Brian. And, yeah, he was uh, at the whoa, whoa, whoa. 2004 whoa, whoa. Whoa. junior whoa. champion. Canada. Then he was playing the round robin against Team Endian. And he had a 97 against 99%. Oh, wow. <laughs> but still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chappen blir riktigt klen nu när nästan 99%. Det kan ju dra men kom man. Här ska ju också. Även om jag spelar lite inåt med typ en sjua så råkar jag dutta den lite långt och lika gimme där. Det visst att man råkar sätta ner den också. Mm. Ja, noll, nollan också. kommer ju spel också om du river med den han får dubben här så. Kanske räcker ja. det bara klira den. den också. Ja, bara klira den här så det finns ingen riktigt bra plats att rulla på. So Nicholas Edin is trying to remove this yellow German counter. And rolls out, but still lies too. So you can see there, third player holding the brush, giving eyes to the skip. That's where he wants to aim. So uh, for all these uh, viewers who don't understand German, <laughs> we were hearing the, the German players like, what are we doing? What, what are we doing here? So I know, with the name Muscovich, it's good that his English is so good for us to understand <laughs> what he's playing. <laughs> So he's just trying to draw here behind cover. He wants to force an error from Sweden so he can generate two here. But sweepers are saying this has got plenty of weight. It's not going to stop. Whoa. Second present from Germany. Det Oh. Oh, nära gardern, topp 12. 
Kanske lite mer till och med. Känns som det är ganska svårt att göra själv. Så om vi bara täcker hand så får han i alla fall ganska svår dragning. Lämnat ett litet hål. Han var ju igenom förra. Så att han har träffat tajt hål så är det stor risk att bli lång igenom. Kan, bästa är om vi kan nibbla upp den så att vi får lite mer press. Men inte ner till bite 8 då är det en ganska lätt planering. So always great communication with the Swedish team. Skip when he goes into the hack before he plays. The sweepers know exactly where the stones to finish. Discuss the ice, discuss the weight. Skulle du vilja hålla igång lite för linje? Nästa linje runda. Dra runt den. Kan runda den här om det går. Kör! Den runda den kallar för mycket ändå. Kör! Kör, 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 kör! Kör för runt den. Yeah, so just the one is to finish top T. So it forces uh, Germany a bit wider here. With that stone at the top of the rings. Glaub, die Spuren sind nicht so unterschiedlich. Glaub, die Spuren sind nicht so unterschiedlich. So facing three Swedish counters. Die gute 80. Great focus there. Then it's good. Seven. Yep. 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 Hard. Yeah, line. So they're oh, sweeping for nice. line. Gotta go. Yep. 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 Lini hard. Go Trying line. to pass Lini the hard, top Lini. one. Hard. Last chance for Germany to start end. But is it going to come in enough? No. Ew, no. It might have. <laughs> it's close. Yeah. Certainly cut down two. Between four and the eight foot. Sweden are saying we'll take ours, thanks. <laughs> oh, yep. yeah. On. One to Sweden. So. We finished the third end. And we have the second one for Sweden. So the team of Niklas, Edin. The silver medalist of Pyongyang oh. leads 2 0 oh. after so three ends okay. out of eight, but it, uh, it's it's not it's not supposed to be go over all the eight eights, right? Ends, right? Or what would you suppose? Yeah, ideally, when you're playing the game, you would like to be well enough up that uh, you don't need all eight ends. But no, each game should be eight ends. And if it's tied after eight, they will play an extra end. Mm. But after which score is possible to say, okay, that was it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think after six ends, if you're maybe eight one down, you have to say, yeah, it's time for an early bath. Yeah, okay, give up today. <laughs> but I know it's it's your it's your it's your sports heart that don't want to give this answer because you never give up. Never want to. But there's also facing reality. <laughs> like the Germans did uh, now the last stand yeah but after two stones that just crossed the, the, the whole the whole ice the whole lane yeah, but this is where now with the five rock rule as well when you're down in the game it is easier to score multiples to come back into the game yeah. so it's Let's more it exciting end. and you should be able to play right. out the eight ends right. but it just doesn't always happen Yep. So now Sweden have put up the centre guard, Germany are going to put up a yep. corner. Yep. The last few times you've have seen them come round the centre guard, but now that they're two down, they're putting up their corners. These stones can't be removed from play in the five rock free guard zone. And it's just been announced in the last day or two that this team of uh, Nicholas Sedins will be representing Sweden at the upcoming European Championships in Estonia. And obviously, uh, Nicholas Sedin has uh, been at nine European Championships and he's 
curling history and uh, has six gold medals. Oh, wow. So wow. <laughs> yeah. He likes the European Championships. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely stone there. And Christopher Sundgren. Great setup when you see that with the guard just short of the rings and the one in the forefoot behind. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. Yep, yep, Linia. Yep. Hard. Fist. Linia is perfect. So. Fist, Peter. Hard. Whoa. Oh, no, Linia. Whoa. Ah, uh, that's a lovely stone. Försök att frysa in sida. Top 12 är okej också. Se hård ut. Vid också. Okej, fart. Behöver köla. Vi kan vänta. Jag tror nästan vi måste gå runt den istället. Ja, kör Kepa, kör. Kör, kör, kör. Du kan ha runt den. Topp fyra. Hårt, hårt, hårt. Fortfarande förbi. Kom igen. Kom igen. Lite bakom tio. Ja då. 14 tre. Ja, Are yellows not a bad David Augie, another. So maybe for people watching today, they're a bit confused with uh, the German names that are coming up on the screen and uh, actually on the ice. Yeah. They've uh, swapped about team positions a couple of times this year already, just working out who would be the best lineup for the Europeans. <laughs> So clearly they haven't had jackets made with all their names. So you'll see two Walters yeah. on the ice just now in their jackets, but there's actually not a Walter playing. Absolutely no. There, there was, there's a manual Walter yes. played for the German national team, of course, and all the German people or Swiss people know the the funny little kids uh, star like. Who is Walter and where is Walter? It's a little funny game, but <laughs> <laughs> really, it looks like this. But it's more like white and red uh, yes, shirt he wears. Hiding behind something. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a, 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 a play for the child to play where is Walter. But where not, is Walter? Not here <laughs> at the Curling Masters in Champery. Or maybe they will make a revival. So please, uh, dear viewers, don't get confused out of this. We um. We're pretty sure to tell you the right names of the German players. Yes, so you'll see the second player and the skip both have Walter on their jackets, but neither are actually Walter. Nobody. They're just borrowing the clothing for this weekend. Eller bara klippa den här. Ligger den kvar här så blir det bara mer stöd där man kan säga skjuta. Ja. So Peter Gadecki, who's playing second just now, he won't be part of the team in the Europeans. So Manuela Walter may yeah. be back yeah. for that. Fast one. Like a laser. Right back line. Eyes. Like a langer. I mean, that's... That red's mm -hmm. working for us right now, right? The Germans. It was uh, fast and clear. Same as same like the previous. Yeah, it's set up very well for Sweden right now. They lie well, short and it's man. guarded. Yeah, I, I don't mind. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't mind that. Uh, I just think that red's kind of working for us right now, just with this angle. Okay. Um, I don't mind the, the draw. Yeah. Okay. They can see oh, enough of the up. yellow that they could angle onto the red shot. So they think, well, if we leave that just now. And we try and get a second counter in behind the corner guard. Oh. 
So this one's hanging a bit straighter down the centre. Trying to get it curling off the red guard, but it's just going to tap the red in. Okay. Mm. Uh, that's made it a lot harder for Germany now to play in that yellow. So Sweden in a good position right now. So, four stones remaining for both of the teams, Germany and Sweden. Oscar Eriksson with his first in this end. And this end of, of from Mirona is uh, very specific to, to show the variety of, of curling also. We had we had absolutely fast stones, uh, hard shots with a lot of force, then we have almost smooth ones and, and yeah, sl slide ones. It's very it's very um, it's, it's a big difference between every stone. Certainly, as the weight control and curling is key to success. <laughs> Line and weight are your two important okay. areas, and uh, it's so important if you play a big hit weight like that, that the next stone, if you have to play a delicate draw, you can do that. Mm. So that's the art and the skill of the game, to be able to adapt the weight yeah. control. And that's why you'll see players wearing stopwatches, because they time the yeah. ice. Yeah. So every ice they play on is different speeds. And uh, they'll use a stopwatch just to make sure that they're keeping on top of what the speed is. Next one for Brian Sherrard. Yeah, so it's important now for Germany to score at this end. You know, they're 2 nothing down. They need to get on the scoreboard. That's the third bonus. one. The third one in this game. They need to come. Ah. Yeah, to call the scoreboard, you say, but they just... They all looked quite confused by that, that that stone did that. You can see the long line there of stones, even if oh. they were trying to nick the yellow stone across mm. in the house, but even if they'd been tight and cleared the front, but to miss everything, yeah. that's erring on the wrong side. It's better to play the war that than not even try to do it. Second of Ericsson. So Oscar Eriksson, left-hander, comes out the left-hand hack. So Sweden just quite happy to put up a guard here. Yeah, great guard there. So now Germany in a bit of trouble. They are on the line one against, but uh, as I say, they want to get in and score here. Walter, Sherrard, Walter, <laughs> nice point of view. <laughs> what is wrong, Sherrard? <laughs> yeah, he's Canadian, actually, so. <laughs> That's maybe why he didn't. He was not allowed to wear the Walter jacket. Also, now <laughs> go back to the game and keep it serious. Walter now. only had two jackets spare that he could <laughs> he could lend to the team for this weekend. Yeah. Let's do it again. Like I told you, um, Manuel Walter. 
actually uh, Australian Masters 2016. Yeah, yeah from yeah. Team Baum okay. Mum. Bumper? But like we told at the beginning, it's not uh, the whole team Bumper, playing. Yeah. Yeah. Like no Manuel Walter, no Alexander Baumann, no Daniel Herberg. Yeah. But Sebastian Schweitzer and Ryan Sherrod from this team. Together with Peter Gadecki and Mark wants to try this now. So I thought we might have come down with a bit of weight here bumper. and try and do some damage, but uh, they're just talking about a, a bumper weight, which is just enough weight to tap the guard in, to tap the one in the house. So there you can see they're just trying to raise that yellow guard on the left-hand side into the red in the house. This one must be curling, sweeping it. It's over curled. Okay. Yeah, it's just over curled, and they actually tapped the wrong stone in. Seen to it, so now we can try for something here, va? No. Very really nice on them here. Two ligs staggered so there after the slaget. Exactly. 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 Oh. So now Sweden could turn the screw here and really, if they raise that red onto the yellow, they could lie five. They're uh, switching gears. Uh, they couldn't see this shot before that last one of Germany, so because that was an error from Germany, it's actually opened it up for Sweden to come in. We have some options. The yellows on the yellow guards there at the top right hand of the screen, they, they are still usable for Germany to tap in, but when they're facing five counters, it will be a lot harder. Especially when with only a few stones, yeah, let's say two stones left to keep the damage as small as possible. Nice to curl a wee bit. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, Tall. perfect. One, two, three, four, high five. High noon in Champery for Germany. And now, as we said before that last German shot, Sweden were only lying one. By Germany opening it up, they've it's actually crazy. turned the advantage to Sweden. And because I, I really have to say, this this end, like uh, I started with the speed of the stones and the shots and everything, but but this end uh, have it all, has it all, really. <laughs> you should you should uh, clip this up, <laughs> dear curling world, and use it for all the training. So, what another? If, if not, then I'm sitting here. He plays a guard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, German is just really trying to weigh up their best option, which there isn't a great one right now. <laughs> they could take the double on the top reds. We have an angle here. But if you stick your shooter here, that's that's a nicer angle, I think, than an off on that. Um, that's yeah, so you see the yellow at the top left just, just of the that? screen there. Which one They're leaving that. Before, they yeah. know that they so could come in off that a as a <laughs> last resort with his last stone because 80? right now yeah. Germany has last stone. They've got two stones to come. So with this one, he really wants to try and open it up and give himself an opportunity uh, to have a shot with his last stone. Because facing five yeah. and... Uh, he needs to remove the top two here and roll over. <laughs> you see Niklas heading yep. behind the stands. Yep. Yep. Yes, uh, there was a little smile on yep. his face. Hard! Yeah, it's hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, that whoa. definitely wasn't planned. Was no, there was not plan B, B, C. Not at all. 
What happened there? I don't know. He just went. He got the center line early and just went. Didn't. And so even for uh, Ryan Sherrod, it's a miracle. Well, these three are a misery. How it went. So it's still. Still this yellow one on the. Right yeah. side so of Nicholas the is saying, okay, how can they get in here to lie short? <laughs> really, are they taking advance out of the last <laughs> yellow thing is leaving on the ice? Yeah, so he, he's looking right now at the yellows to see what Germany could do. So the raise on the corner guard just out of the screen right now is there so they're trying to draw in behind that to stop the raise but by doing that they'll lie six so it'll certainly put the pressure on to germany to play a very difficult shot against six <laughs> so right now that yellow you see there on the left hand side the guard they could raise that up to the shot. Mm. So that's the only way Germany could get shot or coming thin off the other yellow guard. But Sweden will think, well, that's a much harder shot. Mm. So I'll block the slightly easier one. They're just now like um, squeezing slowly but slowly. Just Oh, ah, played that to perfection. So that blocks the line of the yellow guard hmm. being raised right to the one in the button. So. <laughs> yeah, tell us, please. I mean, you were, you were, uh, you won an Olympic gold medal. I mean, you must know. <laughs> this is a position you don't want to be in as a skip. <laughs> Facing six and going for a very thin in off here. Got a third air. Yeah. Maybe a bit less. Quarter, little less in the third, yeah. less, yeah. He has got options that he can catch at slightly <laughs> different thicknesses because mm -hmm. he's got different <laughs> ones <laughs> to ping off. <laughs> Ideally, he wants to catch it thin and go to the one on the button. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, now we have a situation, last stone, important um, one. So we These situations. The the whole responsibility is near on your shoulders. Is it motivation or is it absolutely pressure and horrible? No, I think you know that's why I hero. enjoyed skipping. It's such a variety of shots you get mm. to play, and uh, All or it's great. And it's a great feeling when they come off. Yeah, <laughs> from zero to hero and back. Oh no, sweeping on this though. Oh, it's close. From oh. zero to zero. Only one. Great and effort. Can we say the best they could do with this? Yeah, they actually <laughs> underswept it. Whew. So there was uh, Nicholas Edin not smiling anymore because, uh, yeah, this was a nice last one from Mark Muscovich. Whew. Take a deep breath, dear Germany and dear Germany German fans. There's one stone for Sweden. In this end, we see the highlights, and there were a lot of. Sweden leads 3 to nil. And actually, uh, yeah, I was quick checking for a team of uh, Niklas Edin, their head-to-head -head score against Germany. This actually is the 20th um, yeah, game Nicholas Edin has against a German squad, a ter German team. Until now, head to head 15 to 4. Only four times Nicholas Edin must uh, yeah, give away the win against a German team. The last time this was on 2015 where Niklas Edin lost against the team of Alexander Baumann, only 6-7, to seven, a very close one. And the highest victory of the team from Niklas Edin, 2009, Die. against the team of Andreas Andy Kapp, 10-4. to four. 
And now we go to the next yep. end. Over to Port du Soleil. How it's called, uh, oh, four regions who are formed together, Sebastian. actually near Champery to Région Don du Midi. Yeah, so Christopher Sungen to his first one in the house. Second one, I just on want to guard it. In Germany will continue to persevere with corner guards. Same line as before. It starts to be a bit tight, but it's a good line. You can take a bite and come in to slow him down. Yeah, go for line also. Perfect. Fine. A great shot. Perfect lead set up there. Och det ska gå så rangin. De lange, the freeze. Ja, yeah, okay. But also was uh, was always very um, special and specifically in Champery you you hear very good the the, the athletes and the, the 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 players on the ice. So you're really very close, and we hope you're close too by watching here. So just uh, trying to draw around behind their corner guard here. The sweepers Easy. are saying it's oh. very short. Finish, finish. Yep, yep. So they'll just leave it as a Good second day. corner guard. Ta kör den härifrån nu, eller? Nej. Fifth and half time. If you would say like this, almost. Mellan. Behöver gå lite grann. Börja bli tight. Börja bli tight. But as you said before, I mean, at least in this end, when Germany will not score, there is a... Yeah, it's fine, now it's the time. Now it's the time to react or, or you can... Yeah, because even at the last end, they were just 2 nothing down. So if they scored a 1, at least it's 2-1. Whereas to be 3 nothing, it's a bigger gap now to fill. Roll. Yeah. But with the 5 rock Bump roll up. now in free guard zone, it's, they've got the time to do it. But they just need to sharpen up their their shot play against whoa, 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 whoa. Nicholas Edin. You need to make the shots whoa. because because it's uh, mentally. I think it's 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 very important because the zero never looks good, whoa, whoa, whoa. and even when you have a one, then you have something to hold. It's okay. possible to make stones to make sh to be shot to score against Nicholas Edin. Okay. They have cover up now, Germany, here. You can see the two yellow corners. So if they can just get in behind and try and generate a two. Get two back and the score line suddenly 3-2. I'm a little tight. Okay. Come and curl a little bit. Yep, yep. Hold it in, hold it in. Okay, fuck. Okay, rent, rent. Good line now. Fint. Ja, det känns definitivt som de yeah, hämtar. Ja, good alltså. guard. Börja köla, sen kommer det inte så mycket mer, men du har den redan linje inåt liksom. Rasmus Rana is very good at the high hard ones, but also very good at the delicate weight shots. Just hugely yep. experienced this team, all of them. Oh. Yep! So just peeling off the guard. Just when you go to the, oh yeah, let, let's say the over, overall statistic of uh, Niklas Edin, you have in total almost 300 games. There are 292 actually, until now. Championship games. Yeah. Wow. 214 
Håll ut den lite grann, linjen ser okej ut men den är tight om något. Ja, det är svårare än 2-2-1 frekvens. Ja, perfekt. Så inte bara experience, god experience. Ja, medal winning experience. Jag har varit i 8 världar nu och 9 europeans, 3 olympic games. 3 olympic games. With a bronze and silver, so he's just missing that one medal in his collection. Let's go, eight fours. Yeah, hit and fear. Yeah. Should swing in there nicely. Just. So Germany now deciding uh, not to peel the guard. Ah. Trying to draw behind. Try and put the pressure on to Sweden. Try and force an error from them. The sweepers are saying can't touch this for weight, it's got plenty. But it's not possible, it's, it's the fourth one, the, the fourth stone. And I think it's the one one before one before from Ryan. Third. Yeah, he's just struggling a bit today with his draw weight. The last time he was uh, <laughs> say sorry to his teammates like I didn't know what happened. At least now his teammates will ask. Now you know, I hope. <laughs> well, that's where it the feedback happens. Yeah. He asks the sweepers, yeah. "What did I throw?" You know, they're timing it, and in his head he has to come. Compute whether you know it was a different track he was down or different part of the ice. So because uh, let's be honest, to make to make mistakes, it's human. It's, it's just human. But um, at least you must try to not do That's it again. That's thing. Everybody makes mistakes, but it's how you make the best of every shot. Yeah. And that is the communication from the sweepers. The skip maybe changes to a plan B because of the weight that's been thrown, and it's how you manage that and. So it's erring on the right side. You know, there if he was slightly shorter, it mm. was usable. So by, by being heavy, it was just completely erring on the wrong side. Yeah. So he's getting a second chance. Nini good. Did you see it in his face also? Nini good. Yeah, I'm going to nail this. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to make this. Whoa, no Go Lange! Lots! Lots! good! Lots! Whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 Looks whoa. fast, they Still say. Looking. Looks yep. fast. Yep. Here it comes, though. Ah, oh, that's far better. Great sure. shot. Yeah. Yeah. Good reaction. Ryan Sherrod. Not from zero to hero, but at least from zero to back to... Yeah, and it's shots like that you have to make to force an error out your opposition. Niklas Edin so He's just trying to follow that German stone down and just sit on top of it Perfect line, he's happy with it Here it comes Can he freeze on top? Oh, yes, perfect. Almost, yeah. Nice. Nice. Really good Every shot. shot. <coughs> and that's very difficult now for Germany to remove that. Would you like opening up this side for a draw here? Because I think there's mm -hmm. got nothing on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Just open it? Just open it up? Or you could try running it back and see if you get anything, but I think just open That's it up. That's advice. Just open it up. Yellow red. Yeah, yeah. Get what we said earlier on, you know, they need to score here, Germany, yeah. Yeah. to stay in the open game. This side. 
he doesn't want to be left with a thin angle <laughs> like he was at the last end. I mean, he'll try to guard it again, but at least it'll get the puppy. Yeah, yeah, just open up this side because we have nothing on the other side now, eh? Mm. That's what I'm saying. I mean, mm. yeah, it kind of makes no sense because even if you get this, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Did two, right? Just these two? Yeah, so there you can see the yellow guard. They're trying to angle that into the house to remove reds at the top of the house. No, no. Yeah. get Enix. This young skip certainly under pressure today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the Just oh caught the it too thin. So it does remove it from play, but doesn't raise it into the house. Uh, yeah, so man kommer spinna för lust. Ska röra den här. Det ska vara en knacka bak fyra fart liksom. Yep. Vi ligger här så täcker vi båda. Ja. Oh. So the only shot right now is to use that yellow guard, so if Sweden looking at the best place to put this to block that raise. It's again, it's... One big row of stones. So the only way in for Germany right now is to draw the button on the clockwise rotation or raise the yellow so Nicholas Sedin can block both of those shots. Mm -hmm. Now it's his last stone in the fifth end. Everything goes. So blocks the raise on the yellow and blocks the draw. So what do Germany do now? <laughs> oh, they're laughing, they're saying, could you play it for us? <laughs> <laughs> because you're so good today. We need a helicopter right now to get to the button. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. You know, the you know the danger, but I guess right now it's 4 nothing, which is just as bad. Yeah, just, so just yeah. with heck weight. Yeah. That's about all. I mean, that's... No, there's nothing. That's it, but you got to stick it. You got to stick it dead in the rest yeah. of the squeeze, but um, if you like that. So there's maybe this, like one yellow stone far, I far mean, away. The, the one I mean, good heck rate. Yeah. They've the got to be so careful, though. Rate. If they no, go no, for no, a no, raise no, here, no, no, here no, and no. that red's always going to tap the yellow back, no, 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 it's, it's, it's frozen, no. so he could lose a four. So? Yeah. If he catches this he wrong, at the yeah, moment he's only one against. Yeah, it's there if you like it. Okay. And I'm uh, sorry for all the German Bumper fans. Oh, 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 just oh. kick that out of the way Bumper. so we can use it a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think so? Come on, that would be. Oh, in Switzerland we are we are very good at in in in, in this uh, situation. Oh. No, no, it <laughs> was an accident. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because oh, that will be uh, <laughs> more worse than uh, worse than uh, Watergate. Could be, but the German really, when yeah. this doesn't work, then yeah, he's trying to just nick this, get this red to nick the red shot on the button. That's very you dangerous. Absolutely. What you gonna do when the warriors run over you? Muscovic is the only and last hope, the last stone. Never, Never ever. ever. This was not a Swedish guy. It was a German, and they know. So, one, one more, <laughs> and step by step, stone by stone, the Germans <laughs> must realize that today 
There's no option, no possibility against Nicholas Edin and the Swedish team. We're starting and going into the sixth end with a 4 0 lead of Sweden. Here we have it, white on blue. Three crowns of the Warriors, Sweden, Nicholas Edin and his squad. Four. Muscovic, zero. Three ends remaining here at the... Schrampery World Cup. Yeah, they are doing a yep, hell yep, of a yep, job hard. to get the stone where they want it. Over the hog line. Is the second one for Christopher Sundgren. And again, uh, all the time, the red stones are yeah. almost everywhere. <laughs> and we've seen every end, you know, Sweden are happy to put one in and one just close. But now it's the sixth end of the game, they're four up, they're happy to bring all stones into the house. And uh, Germany oh. need cover, Sweden yep. don't. Yep. Hard. Yep, yep, yep. So Germany are four down. They could have put up a, another corner here. But uh, they've struggled with that tactic in the last few ends. So mm -hmm. just decided to hit. Final. Final here, all. Vent. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Nice shot, missed the back one. Sweden lie too. So now things are a bit more open for Germany here. They can use the corner guard, try and get round to here, behind cover. Very far, very far. Ryan! They sing too long. No Pana Art. Pana Art? Oh, kind of linear. Then Yep, yep, Ryan. So just Ryan. trying to yep. bury behind that yellow guard. Yep. Trying to take it back and curl it more. They are they this was now stone. The talking was about uh, the yeah, it's good. No, it's not. And when during a during a stone, not even all of the teammates are, are I think it's the just same that point <laughs> of view. <laughs> it's the game. It's the constant communication about the weight and the line. Mm -hmm. You know, the skip in the head is looking at the line. The sweepers are calling the weight. So it's just Sweden just deciding to peel the corner guard off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that communication happens you know, throughout, and that's what we're saying about making the best of every stone. Huh? It may not be inch perfect of what but you want, here. but it's how you make okay. the best of it. Three. Three. 
So now Jim, I'll just replace that corner guard. So these two teams will face each other at the European Championships in Estonia. November. Yeah. From the 17th to 25th. Three. Switzerland will be there yep, also. Yep, right. Yep. I whoa, guess a couple of teams. Yes. <laughs> yes. Some countries have announced their teams and some haven't. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the Scottish team will be Bruce Mowat, who was at the Worlds in Las Vegas. So they're sending Bruce Mowat for the men and Eve Muirhead for the women's. And Sweden have just announced Nicholas Edin and Anna Hasselberg yesterday. Yeah. But Switzerland, I believe, are still undecided it's on ranking points yeah so between de cruz and schwaller at the moment yep for the men because um yeah. i'm pretty sure that at the end the swiss will go into the competition with the right squad with the right ones let's say like this very diplomatic can keep it like this. Yeah, it, it, you know, European Championships are very important now because it's world ranking. It, it's Let's placings get to get to a World Championship and then World Championship placings Let's mean get Olympic get points. So oh. that European Championship placing now is so important Martin to many up. countries. Oh, last one. Oh, yep, Peter. Whoa, 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 whoa. But, um, yeah, there's whoa. always a question Perfect. left for uh, Scottish okay. squad at the moment, no? It's now, we, we started to be political a little bit, just for a few minutes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so at the European Championships and World Championships, Scotland are represented. England could be represented there uh, if they were to qualify, mm. but when it's an Olympic Games, it's Great Britain you represent. So Scotland, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, you're representing oh. all of those countries yeah. at the Olympic Games. And... Uh, Currently, at the moment, it's Scotland who gain the Olympic points at World Championships. So, okay. Uh, so it's very important for Scotland to qualify for World Championships absolutely. right now. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Because, uh, yeah. But the, the Great Britain squad, um, although the program is run in Scotland, mm. it's one of the few, or is the only British program run in Scotland. The rest are all in England. Yeah. So that curling program can oh, their squads can include, you know, members oh, from Scotland, England, curling. Wales, Northern Ireland. So uh, yeah, it's we've yeah. got a slightly bigger challenge than many other countries when it comes to Olympic Games. Yeah, that's the one thing, absolutely. And still, also to, I don't know, there are, there's this big discussion okay. about that, about the exit, about the Brexit, about everything. And I mean, you represent Great Britain. Uh, something you don't want to belong, uh, but maybe this will be too politics. Now. So we go to the very important moments of the sixth end because every viewer can and should have his opinion, his meaning, and everybody is allowed to say what he thinks. It is, and uh, you know, it's a great honour to represent Scotland at a European and World Championships. But okay. every four years, you get the opportunity to represent. Great Britain, which means you're representing more countries, That's which is an even oh, bigger honour. That's true. So, uh, yeah, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. So, Germany have just kept replacing this corner guard, but it's slightly longer this time, so Nicholas Edin yeah, is yeah, just yeah, trying yeah, to come yeah, round yeah, at a tap back Push. weight. Push. Sweepers are on this. Has he passed the guard? Hold, 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 hold. Yeah, no. No. No, no, no. no. Just rubs it. So Germany now have the opportunity to lie too. Which they yeah, haven't done since the first yeah. end. <laughs> yes. True. Hinten 
Kilometer? Yeah. 90, 90? Well, I almost wanted to say that, yeah, the good thing is Ryan Charity <laughs> has already made his two stones. <laughs> now, now we have uh, Mark Moskowitz. Yeah, it's been a few ends since he's played a dead draw. Not so bad. Not over so tea. bad. But over putting him over T. Oh, he just line. wants to be just bye, bye, bye. past the T line so that the two yellow stones are level and it won't leave an easy double for oh. Sweden. So just where that brush is, about there. Pretty perfect. Yeah. Like I said, there were a few ends now where, where uh, Muscovitz uh, only had <laughs> yeah, one, one uh, mission to complete, like uh, to get to, 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 to reduce the damage, let's say like this. But now he has again the possibility to play curling, to uh, get an offense and to try to get shot. And that was where, because this end was more open, when he's, you know, we said earlier in the end that they could have just drawn around the guard, but they actually hit and rolled, and that spread the stones around, so it opened up the head, which meant he's now got options to be able to get in, whereas the last couple of ends he's really <laughs> been yeah. fighting against stones in the forefoot. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, yep. Whoa! Yep! Whoa! 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 Oh, nearly perfect. He was trying to get the roll uh, into the forefoot buried behind the top red. So but um, Germany have a nose hit for two. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's it. So uh, the Swedish stone is shot now. Um, it's as, as, imp uh, as simple as it sounds. Put this out. Catch shot with two sound. stones. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bread and butter shot for a skip. Oh, nice. A nose hit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But to be honest, a stone which Mark Moskovic not had a lot Close. in this game. Yep. 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 Will he take yes. this possibility? Gotta this go. opportunity and oh. come back oh, to Germany? This is curling, trying to hold it past the top one. It is, it does, Perfect. it is. Nice one, nice one, Germany. Almost a congratulation to arrived into this game after six ends. So Niklas Erdin also. Okay, okay guys, let's start the competition. You can score. And for Germany, yeah. now, there's a smile on the face. And I think, really, there's, uh, there's now also hope and, 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 and motivation. Yes, it's possible. And to, be, uh, <laughs> to get the only statistic for which, which speaks for Germany at the moment, German is Germany is the only team that scored two stones in one end. So we have uh, Sweden four, Germany two, two ends remaining. Start into the seventh end. Genau here, Herr Peter Amstein. Coming down. Lange. Zwei. Oh. Good. So, Nicholas Edin hasn't had the hammer since the first end. <laughs> yes. True. So, he's probably quite happy now that he's got last stone advantage and can try and score a two. <laughs> so, Germany put up the centre guard, Sweden just drawing to the wing, keep play away from that centre. Nicholas Adin there, sharing a joke with the teams on the sheet next to him. Oh. 
Zweit. Linie gut. Linie gut. Go. So Sebastian yep. Zweiser yep, just looking to put up another guard. Linie. Wow, oh, das ist ja kurz. Sure, but ja, 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 best top line. Ja, 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 ja. Ja. Yeah. Okay. Kissing each other. Yeah, yeah, but it's an easy double to lift that for Sweden now. Although they can't do it yet with the free guard zone rule, but at some point in the end, the stones are very close together. Yeah, because he could tick the guard with this stone. Uh, he can't move it from play, but he could tick it. But he's saying that is a good double. We can clear that later on. So let's just put another one on the wing. Christopher Sundgren, very steady lead. Yeah, I wanted to, exactly that was my question on my, my son had. The, the, the lead, the first stones. Yeah, maybe you think as a viewer that the easy ones, the easy stones, not the, the, the really important one of an end, but still then you can Hugely all important. Absolutely, absolutely. The lead is a vital player in the team. They set up the ends and mm -hmm. uh, tactics work well, but you know if the lead doesn't put the stones in the right position, tactics go out the window and the end changes. So, and you maybe stand zero against five in the house. <laughs> so yeah, the setup by leads is really key in the curling game right now yep. with the five rock rule as well. Lina good. Yep, right. So Germany have got their two guards up. They want to come round right now. Because they know Sweden are going to start peeling guards. Yep, yep, yep. Very nice. Turn on. Go, Peter. So, a great draw around there. Peter Gadecki. So, here's the peeling machine. Rasmus Rana will try and lift the double. Spin that over. Oh, it's just spinning it into the surviving, house. Surviving, surviving stone. Ah, Jeremy Ly too. Three. Linie ist gut. Zwei, drei ist gut. Yep. Komm, Stein. Nur zwei. Yep. Yep. So, German Art. just gonna put up, replace the guard. Was kannst du drüber? Yep, yep, yep. Drüber über die Center. Über die Center. Nachstück, Nachstück. Okay. Das war ein Dude. So here's Rasmus again, peeling machine. Yeah. Yeah. Makes it look easy. Yeah, it is. It is. Same thing, eh? So the last right. the two stones. Also. Gone. Four two, that's uh, it's close now. Four two and Germany currently lie to. And Ryan Sherrod. He must just deliver oh, two good. solid stones. Hit on sign, hit on sign. Oh, cut here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, but that's a winning handle. It's, uh, it's not his day. Actually, and definitely, okay. it's not his day. If you understand the uh, German, then Elva? then you realize always when uh, a stone, a shot is coming from Ranjert, not positive. <laughs> no positive words coming out of the German. 
please. So it allows Oscar Eriksson now just to come round and uh, tap the short rock back that's in the forefoot. Having to work it hard to pass the guard though. And they didn't. So forced a, another error from S Sweden here. So Germany might not have been happy with the guard, but it certainly forced an error. Uh -huh. So now they can get a better guard up. So second chance for him. Little wider, little oh. wider. Oh, weiter. Three, four. Whoa, Landvik. Whoa, Landvik. Really? Mine's good now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nur hierher. Oh, hat er. Whoa. Nix. Kalt viel. Kalt überkalt. Overcurled. Schöner. <laughs> Confidence looks and sounds different. Ta bort den stenen. Nej, jag gillar den också. Första tanken var att göra det. Kan vi ha tur också? Det kan ju bli dåligt. Men... Ja, det, det borde inte kunna bli så dåligt. Sämt är väl om den bara slickar där. Ehm. Sextio. Okej. Okay. Femtiofem kanske förresten. Ja, där någonstans. So these are the shots that Team Edin love to play. Raise takeouts. They're so accurate. Probably the commentator's curse that oh well, did get the jam, but uh Germany still lie too. But he has removed the guard from play, so Yep. It's interesting, it's the first time in the game that uh, we see Sweden in a bit of trouble here. Yeah. And it's only the second time that they've had last stone and they're in trouble. Before, more or less always acting and now reacting. Eye of the tiger, almost. <laughs> yeah, steely focus in his eyes. You not enough plats. You can overcurl. Whoa. Whoa, curl enough, yeah. Peter. Whoa, curl to feet. Hard Peter, curl hard Peter. Yep. Whoa. Whoa, just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. No. How's the line? He wants to guard that one on the button. It's just overcurled. Sweden will be able to see enough of that to tap it back. Oh, there you can see it. The guards long enough that you could probably come round that and just tap the shot back. That will be there now. Five, two, yeah. four of the last end, Ooh, and they could so. make one stone, Sweden ag again, I mean. Yeah, I mean, Sweden have got the hammer here, so you count on this, no? they're lying to against, if they can score one, yes, they would be. Three up playing the last end, but ideally, there's two Swedish stones to come, so if he could get round here and tap back and roll, he would lie second and third. So just trying to hold it past this whoa. top guard. Whoa. Whoa. Seems happy. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wants whoa, to stay whoa, in. Whoa. Oh, great shot. Rolls behind the cover of the German one. 
a bit outside then in this thing. A little bit outside then in this thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no. It's actually better if it almost just knows it's going to roll to here and we still have to roll here. Yeah. Uh, Germany would like to lie two at the end of this and really force Nicholas Hedin to take his one. And what would be the possibilities to reach his uh, goal? Yeah, he's looking just to raise this yellow strip mm -hmm. back onto the red, remove it from play and lie two. Yeah. There's no guards near it, so it's <coughs> a fairly straightforward raise. Oh, Oscar Edison having a big yawn there. <laughs> Must have had an early start today. Yep. Yes. Oh, they're on this yes. early. Trying to hold the line. Oh dear. Over curled. Oh. Yeah. Oh, did leave his own line the, the, second, the <laughs> but the the worst. Outcoming possible, and oh, feeling a little bit sorry. They for didn't him. jump on it immediately. It was like a panic halfway down, so it's as though it really curled a lot more than they thought. But it and it doesn't matter how solid you are. The one stone can open, like we said, and they, yeah. Let's play. Let's. Uh, yeah. See this, uh, a draw for two. Of yeah, of course. And this will be the 6 2. Mm. Sweepers keeping off it so far. Yep. But he can come up to his own, he's got some backing there. Yeah, but this one should have. Uh, plays it perfectly. Two. Niklas Edin, um, cold as ice, and so is Sweden. Yeah, the shake hands we see, so we will not see the eight and six two. The win for Sweden, and uh, Rana, it's your uh, yeah, let's say summary of this competition. Yeah, I think you saw there the Swedish team the experience shone through. They played a very solid game. Germany just played too many half shots and uh, didn't put the pressure on to Nicholas Edin. Germany only scored one end out of the seven. And yeah, give too much uh, presence to the Swedish squad. Check out other results, of course, on worldcurl.com. There you got the results of all the games here at the Curling Masters Champery. Um, in the 20th competition between Niklas Edin and the German squad, this is the 16th win. World Curling Tour on Facebook, at World Curl Tour on Twitter, and of course, worldcurl.com. There you find us, there you not see us, but you can hear us again, Rana. We will be back for the game at 4.30. And then we have a Swiss team, Switzerland against Canada. Mm -hmm. You know, in Switzerland, it's a for for hockey. It's a it's a it's a yeah competition we like, but also in curling, it's always special when you see always special white and red against white and red. And that's a trophy they're playing for. And the highlights we see of this first game here of the curling masters Champery, yeah. You told at the beginning, Rana, uh, world ranking number 58, Germany had, at the end, to be honest, no chance against uh, Niklas Edin, the number three of the world. And yeah, good victory for Sweden, good start for Niklas Edin, and hope also a good start for you and for us here on the World Curl. Yeah, you can see just in the highlights that uh, so close and yet so far for Germany in a lot of the shots today. There were some special shots. Ryan Sherrod, definitely not his day. But he will have the possibility to come back and to show what he's able of and capable of.
Congratulations for the victory. And um, like we see him and his squad today. Definitely also for the European Championships. Interlin favorites. favorites. The German ones, we talked about experience. We hope uh, they could get out of it as much as possible of this game. Sweden wins 6 2 against Germany. And we're looking forward for our next game. 6 30. Switzerland against Canada. 4 30. At about 90 minutes. And of course, I must say, I hope that uh, the home team, that Switzerland, can win here against Canada. It will be a close one, I'm sure. What do you expect of this one, of Canada, Switzerland? Yeah, it's a strong Canadian team. They've won this competition twice before. So uh, they'll certainly be out fighting hard. Mm -hmm. Just as this young German team did today. But get unlucky at the end. It was it the last stone from Niklas? Yeah, and perfect draw for two. Shake hands, thank you very much. And also for you, thank you very much, uh, dear viewers, uh, for uh, being here with us from this uh, first game out of the Curling Master Champery. Sweden wins against Germany 6 2. Rana Howie and me, Gabriel Oldham, we're making also a little break. We're back in about 19 minutes. 4 30, Switzerland, Canada. Check out some other results on www.worldcurl.com. And see you later.